Hi, my name's Hannah Atkinson and I work with Santa Barbara Audubon Society. We're a local nonprofit that protects birds and bird habitat and we try to connect people to nature through education, conservation, and science. Today we're really happy to partner with Santa Barbara Public Library to bring you this video. Now, there are a lot of different Audubon Society chapters all over the country, but the local Santa Barbara chapter is really unique. We have a program called Eyes in the Sky with over 40 dedicated volunteers and several ambassador birds. Now, each of these bird species uh, is a species you can see locally, whether that's in your backyard or out on hikes at places like Lake Los Carneros in Goleta. All of our birds are disabled in some way and wouldn't be able to survive on their own in the wild. For example, Puku here is blind. You can see that she has an unusual look to her eyes and she constantly moves her head as she listens to the things around her. Because Puku wouldn't be able to survive on her own in the wild, she wouldn't be able to catch her own food, we take care of her and now she goes and meets people as an ambassador. Now at Eyes in the Sky, we have ambassador birds including a hawk, two falcons, and three different kinds of owl. Even though these are all different kinds of birds, they're all called raptors, or birds of prey. Puku, specifically, is a western screech owl, one of the smallest owl species in North America. Funnily enough, western screech owls don't actually screech. Instead, they make a very soft burbling sound. They have incredible hearing, and they usually have incredible eyesight at night. Now, Puku caught an eye infection when she was out in the wild. That's how she lost her eyesight, and that's how she came to us. She knows her way around her aviary, but because she wouldn't be able to catch her own food, she's going to spend her life as an ambassador. All right, I'd like you to meet our next raptor ambassador, Ivan. Now, I'm going to give you a moment to guess what kind of bird he is, and I'll tell you a little bit about why these birds are so important and so magical. Human cultures have been fascinated with birds throughout history. All around the world, there are legends about birds. And here in the Santa Barbara area, this is historically the land of the Chumash native people. Birds of prey, like hawks and eagles, play really important roles in their stories and their traditions. Even though he's big and striking, Ivan isn't actually an eagle. He's a red-tailed hawk. It's a little hard to tell from the cream-colored underside, but the top of his tail is a rust-red color, and when the sunlight shines through it, it glows a bright, fiery red. When Ivan was in the wild, he was hit by a car. Our best guess is that he was swooping across a road trying to catch prey, like a mouse or a squirrel, and he just didn't see the car coming. He's more than 20 years old, and he spent most of his life meeting the public as an ambassador for his species. This is Athena. Now, you may have heard of the Greek goddess Athena, whose symbol was an owl. Athena here is a barn owl. You can tell by the bright white colors of her feathers and the heart shape of her face. Athena is one of our most popular birds, especially with classrooms of students, because she's so incredibly beautiful. Just like the other birds at Eyes in the Sky, barn owls are a native species you can find right here in the Santa Barbara area. Um, just like most other owls, they're nocturnal, which means they only come out at night. They make a pretty unexpected sound, so if you hear a screech at night, it might be a barn owl. And just like our other birds, Athena, unfortunately, can't live in the wild anymore. She, just like some of our other birds, was hit by a car. Even though her wings are perfectly fine, she unfortunately went blind in one eye, and now she's not able to hunt and to catch prey like she would need to if she were still out in the wild. Because of that, she's here with us, and she's an ambassador bird. All right, this is the last bird I'm going to introduce you to today, and this is actually our most well-known bird. This is Max. Max is a great horned owl, which is the largest species of owl found in North America, including right here in our area. If you hear the hooting hoo hoo of an owl at night, it might be a great horned owl. Now, unlike our other birds, Max doesn't actually have a physical injury. Instead, he fell out of the nest when he was a baby. He was rescued by humans, but he imprinted on humans. That means he doesn't know the difference between humans and owls, and he doesn't have all the behaviors he would need to survive in the wild. He never learned how to hunt, and he never learned how to interact with other wild owls. 
But even though uh, he doesn't have all the instincts and all the skills he would need, there are some things he still instinctively knows. He has actually been a foster dad for over 70 baby owlets, who could then be released back into the wild. Now, like I said, Max is our most well-known bird. That's because since 2001, he's been the star of our Meet Your Wild Neighbor program, which goes into local elementary schools and teaches students about birds like Max. Um, kids get to meet some of our birds, just like Max, and learn to recognize the birds in their own backyards, parks, and open spaces in our area. Now, Max and I really hope you enjoyed meeting our magical birds. Santa Barbara Audubon Society runs programs and events for kids and adults to connect with birds in our area. If you want to learn more or volunteer with us, you can find out more on our website, santabarbaraaudubon.org. If you want to read more about these magical birds and others like them, you can visit the Santa Barbara Public Library website at sbplibrary.org. Thank you.